Hello guys, I'm going to do this quick tutorial so that you can get a sense of what I'm expecting. So he, this one is the portal for the online remote desktop that connects to the engineering building. So I'm going to connect, select the engineering lab. So it's going to try to load my profile. I'm going to open SolidWorks. And here is the file that I posted on Basecamp, the package file. I open it. And next, I want to create a drawing from this model. Mm -hmm. So I go to here, make a drawing from part assembly. Do you want to open this file? No, we want to create a new file, not the one that we've already included. We're going to create a three size, OK. So give us a bunch of options to choose from in this drawing. So we're going to go, let's say, with the current view, drag and drop it. And then I can add projected views by simply clicking. want to add other, other views, you can also go in and add other views. So we can start by deleting these, selecting them, then delete yes. And we can click here to get other views. So if I want to get the top view and then get the front view. And the left view. So I have the different views and I click on one of them and here I can choose how I want to view them. So the display style can be wireframe, can be hidden lines visible, can be hidden lines removed, can be shaded with edges, and can be shaded. So for this, right now it is hidden lines removed, and not that it is. And what you want to do next is to get rid of all these additional stuff, we can here go to sheet format, edit sheet, and then select all these and delete them. And exit this by clicking this again, go back to drawing. And right now we have one. So we can do a different scale for all of these. We select them all, then say use custom scale, and then say do 1.1 or 1.2. That will be too big, so we do 1.4, enter. 1.3 maybe a good one. So that is good. Now that we have the proper scale, we can just move them around to fit them. And what we can do next is now we want to save it. So we go to save, as I save as, and it gives us a bunch of options. So what we can do in this case, I'm going to save it on desktop, and I'm going to choose, so the default is a drawing file. You can do Adobe Illustrator file, which basically you can use with Adobe Illustrator, and that is vector format. PSD file is a Photoshop file. PDF is PDF you can use with almost everything, and you can get some image as well. In this case, we do a PDF format, and we save it with top assembly revision IEEE on desktop, and we say save. Now, if we go to desktop, there should be a file that is a PDF we cannot open it so we need to go to downloads drag it there so here I can open it and as I open it I'm going to zoom in and you see by zooming in the quality does not degrade this is a PDF format now if I want to get this into SVG format, I'm going to search for 
portable version of Inkscape. I'm going to download it. So for the portable version, you don't have to install the software, you can just run it. So now this is a download, I can go back to download, I can go to the portable one. Then run it. You can do this on your computer as well once you have the PDF files. I'm just trying to show if you were to use the remote desktop. Okay, so it opened. What we will do next is going to file. We will open the PDF file. So we'll go to this computer, we will go to downloads, we will go to PDF file selected. Now this one says how do you want to import it. We'll leave the defaults and click OK. So it will open the file. A new window. Now that we have this file open, we're going to go select everything and we want to remove these borders, we don't need them, so we select these borders and press delete and everything else that we don't need, we're going to select and delete. After we delete everything, now we go to file save as, and then now we have this same name in downloads, but we have the SVG format. So I'm going to save it as SVG, and then I'm going to open a Word document, and then I'm going to say insert picture this device, and then go to download, and then go to the same file name, but in SVG format from downloads, and there. So now if I zoom into the document, you see that the quality remains consistent. Now let's say I wanted only one of these, I don't want all of them. I can select the picture, click on crop, crop the one that I need for my presentation or report, and that's it. Now still if I zoom in, the quality does not degrade. So this is if you have these mesh or wireframe versions. Now for the actual full render, there may be some issue. We go back to the drawing. And we choose for all of them. To have shaded with edges. Now you see that it changes from high quality to draft quality. Make sure you put it back to high quality. And for the cosmetic side display, also put high quality. And now, if we do a save as, and save this one as PDF again, and then put 2, and save it in downloads. Now if we go back to downloads, and check IEEE 2, it has a graphic render that should keep the quality consistent. But this may not be rendering it properly because it's not Adobe, it is actually the top the web browser. But to double check, we can also try to open it with, for example, Google Chrome and see the quality there. Here the quality may be a little bit better, but if you actually see it in PDF, that should remain very consistent. Now, if we go back here and click on one of these, and this was, if it, this was remained on draft quality, it will be a lot more pixelated. Now we do the same thing to get the SVG file, so we go back to uh, Inkscape, open, this time we open IEEE 2, OK with defaults, and again we're going to select whatever we don't need, And now say save as, and do number two, SVG save. And if we go back to Word, insert picture this device, then I do two. Now we have the actual graphic, and we crop only the one that we want. Now if we zoom in, 
you see the quality of the two and how they are rendered properly and there's no pixelation so you should get proper quality from this so that is how you can actually generate high quality vector format renders of your designs for your projects and reports.